Hi there, Happy New Year! This is the routine weekly traffic light update for the week ended on December 30th, 2016. Prior to going into the detail of the presentation, here are the disclaimer. Traffic light and capital appreciation point are the results of proprietary risk analysis model and should be used as a part of your due diligence process. Crystal clear indicator is not a licensed financial advisor. Investing involves risks. Here is the agenda. We will review the latest traffic lights on S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ Composite, and be looking for bearish and bullish trades. Here is traffic light S&P 500 on December 30th. Let's review the legend first. The horizontal purple line here as shown, that's the uh, threshold for long-term re-entry points. The red line threshold is a conservative line, and both lines apply to the green line, the risk, uh, traffic light S&P 500. When the uh, green light line uh, cross above the red line, it's usually to, time to be conservative, as shown here back in 2008 correction. And when you reach the purple line and re-entry back, that's usually a sign of uh, uh, long-term hold positions. The currently, the light is yellow, as you can see. It's been descending since December, September. Uh, when there's a pullback, such as meeting the uh, occurrence of a capital appreciation point, it could be a good entry point for long positions. From the clip of on November 18th, we compare the current situation to that of mid-2012. In the 2012 period, as the index tried to attempt to make a new high, there were pullbacks. Each pullback was less severe than the one before to, to keep the breakout intact. Let's observe whether the current market shows similar trades. But do keep this in mind. The current PE is much higher than the PE in 2012 period. Let's look at traffic light Dow, an intermediate indicator. The indicator has a good history showing intermediate bullishness and bearish signals, especially when the bullish red line cross above the green line, and vice versa. In 2010, when the red line makes a new high correlated with the index, the bullishness continues. But in the 2010-11 actually period, when there is a divergence as the index makes new high, the red line descends. Eventually, it leads to a longer intermediate corrections. I will zoom in the graph in the next slide to discuss bullish and bearish observations. But I do like to also point out now, when the index made a new high in historic new highs, they were pullbacks. After you made a new high, they were pullbacks. And where the, where the support for this red line? I also mentioned that. As you can see, when the red line made a new high in 2013, or the bounce point is about at this level. And in 2010, when you made a really high, the bounce point is at this level. So we are only at, a, I'll say, beginning of a pullback. Uh, it could take a while to reach here. That's anticipated. Here are some bearish and bullish view. On the bearish side, there are two points. First, the red line continued to descend. Second bearish point, a bearish divergent could be forming. As the index makes a new high, the red line does not. I would say cautiously, the intermediate bullish trade continues and pullbacks are expected. We can see the similar thing events in traffic light NASDAQ. As you can see, traffic like NASDAQ uh, made an all-time high recently. And in the past, when you made all-time high, there were pullbacks. And where are the pullbacks? I will show you in the next slide. In 2013, uh, there were minor pullbacks, but the, the bounce points are around this area. In the 2010 period, the pullback took longer. And... Uh, is at the lower level. In both situations, the index start to descend when the red line start to flat out. 
and the bounce starts after cap on S&P 500 occur. In 2010 period, there is one day two, one day 18, one day four. In 2013 period, there's only one day four. So here's just some historical record for your reference. Here's a, a room in on the current traffic light NASDAQ. Here are some bullish and bearish observations. On the bullish side, the red line made a new high, while the index made a new high. Second, there was a recent crossover, bullish crossover. On the bearish side, the red line start to descend on December 13th, and this piece of information was released on the subscriber website in a timely manner. And the green line start to, I'll say, ascend. And uh, the other, uh, I'll say, bearish sign I have to notice is that the green line is making a higher high. I know that some of the information is not synchronized with traffic light Dow, but it is what it is. Here's a summary for December 30th, 2016. Traffic light S&P 500 is in yellow, show more long-term bullish signs. Traffic light Dow and NASDAQ shows more intermediate bearish signs. Traffic light NASDAQ red line start to descend, expecting pullbacks. Consider to take some profit on long positions and increase cash position. With unsynchronized bullish and bearish trades, the market tend to consolidate. S&P 500 cap might happen before the bounce. Thank you for listening and have a happy new year.